Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. What are we doing, guys? Going back to Arizona. Going back to Arizona. Going back to Arizona. <laughs> We are leaving now. We are getting a super late start. It's just before 10, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to get on the road. Yeah, and we might stop at the outlets. Um, the, we're gonna stop at the Woodburn outlets, I think, which are like 45 minutes from my brother's house. Um, there's like Vans, Nikes, all that stuff, and I thought if I could find my kids some school shoes because we start like the end of July, so just here in a few weeks. We actually start in like three, three and a half weeks um, and not pay tax because you don't pay sales tax in Oregon. Why not? Jackson also needs a backpack. The other two already have backpacks. So I thought we'd look for um, some shoes and backpacks and then if we see any good deals on clothes, that and then hit the road. Our goal tonight is to make it to Sacramento where my friend Gina lives and we're gonna hopefully stay the night in Sacramento, meet up with Gina. Um, that's about eight hours and 40 minutes from here. So not too far, but like I said, getting a little bit of a later start. I would have liked to get to Sacramento around dinner time, but it's gonna be a little bit later. We just pulled up to Winco. Um, grabbed some Redbox. My sister-in-law gave me a great idea. You rent Redbox movies on a road trip. So then you just return them at your stops and the kids don't get bored and they have new movies they've never seen. So we ran in, Jackson and I got two movies. We got the Abominable, Abominable, how do you say it? Like the Snowman movie. We've seen that in theaters once years ago. And then we got the new Tom and Jerry movie, which the kids have not seen. Um, and then some ice for our drinks and for our cooler. So we're gonna go now and hit the road and we will be checking back in with you guys shortly. Okay, so we made it 40 minutes down the road. Excuse the squeaky door in the background. We stopped at the Woodburn Outlets in Woodburn, Oregon, and we stopped at Vans. So this is all Vans stuff, as well as this. Well, Jackson's sweatshirt's in there now. But Vans had a massive sale. The shoes were buy one, get one 50% off, and all the clothes were buy one, get one free. So we stocked up on some school stuff. There's one of Annie's pairs of shoes. And then Jackson also got a backpack at North Face, right? Yeah, so that's what we did. We stopped here. We spent way more time than we anticipated, but we really got some awesome Mita, deals. Mita, Mita. So this is Annie's shoes she's super excited about. And then this is her other Mita, pair. Mita, Mita, Mita. Oh, cute. These were $15. You cannot beat $15. I'm sorry, you guys. It is so loud and squeaky. So my mom and I just grabbed lunch at Subway, and the kids have Uncrustables in the car. So we're going to go get in the car and hit the road, right? We stopped and got our red box already and all that. And so now we're gonna hit the road and hopefully make it to Sacramento. Yeah, we got two red boxes. So if you guys can even hear me over this squeaky freaking door, I have no idea. So his backpack's already in the car. We're gonna go load all of this and then we will uh, head out and hit the road. Might stop and get a coffee on the way because I'm gonna need it. Right? Yeah. What do you think of your new school shoes? I love them. You picked them out yourself, huh? You did a good job. Mine are like frozen. Yeah, I've never seen Vans like his before, although I don't know a lot about fashion, so they've probably been around for a while and I just had no idea. But maybe when we get to the hotel or something, we'll take it out and you can show them everything you got, okay? They're really cool, yeah. Yep. Hi guys, we are on the road, obviously. My mom's driving. Say hi, mom. Hi. We still have all three kids. No one's fallen out yet. Right, Aniston? What are you watching right now? They haven't hit any boulders. What you... Thank you. Anyways, we are almost to Reading. We're about, I know, like 25 minutes out. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to flip you around and show you the you smoke. You guys want to look me? Annie, stop. I'm going to show you right there. You see all the smoke. Um, there are some forest fires near Shasta Lake. Is that what Gina said? I think that's what Gina said. I was talking to my friend Gina and she was telling me there's some forest fires. So thankfully we haven't hit any traffic because we did see a sign saying there was like heavy traffic. I do too. Saying there was heavy traffic and to expect lengthy delays and like knock on wood, we haven't hit any of that. So um, we are going to stop in Reading and grab the kids dinner. It is 626 right now. And then we're going to stop for the night in Sacramento. I've actually been looking um, on the hotels tonight app at somewhere to stay and it seems like there's a lot better options obviously in sacramento it's a bigger area than where we stopped on the way here um and we found some really cool hotels that are like very reasonable so i'm super happy about that um i'm gonna check into one that's in downtown sacramento hold on come on tonight so what bud well we're gonna meet up with gina i don't know i'm gonna text her my service is kind of in and out right now because we're kind of like up on a pass right now what? Gina, we will see you when we meet up. Gina, we will see you when we meet up, he said. Um, but I'm gonna text her because we probably won't get, hold on babe, 
to Sacramento. Yeah, um, until about nine, maybe a little later since we're stopping for dinner. So um, maybe probably about nine-ish. So I'm gonna see if she wants to, if she would rather meet for like breakfast tomorrow, since my kids will probably be kind of like tired and cranky. Um, if she wants to like meet up for breakfast, that way it's not like a quick like, hey, what's up? We can actually sit down and visit if she's able to do that. Ooh, look at the smoke now. Hold on, sorry, I'm trying to flip you around and see if you can. Maybe look at the smoke starting. See the smoke now? Oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, Aniston needs to tell you guys something. I love you guys. That was nice. So we will we will check in with you guys probably when we stop for dinner and then again once we get to the hotel wherever we decide to stay. And hey Jax, remind me at the hotel you wanted to show everyone what we got at the van store. You want to show your new shoes and stuff. Yeah. What? Yes, stay tuned for day two, Cohen said. Yes, Annie, it must be from the forest fire. You are right. Yes. So we will check back in with you guys in a little while. Alright, say bye. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Alright, you guys, we are in Reading. We're at a gas station right now. It's like a Chevron. Okay, hold on. It's like a Chevron attached to a Burger King. Yeah. Um, so my mom just ran in to use the restroom um, and we got Cohen some Burger King. We decided, me, my mom, Jackson, and Aniston decided to eat at um, Panda Express wasn't very good and you're like you try to eat a little bit healthier on the road so I try to order some steamed vegetables as a side they're out so then I order like healthier options for the entrees one second babe like some you know grilled chicken and veggies and then shrimp and I eat the veggies and the chicken I don't eat any of the rice because that's what I had to get since they were out of veggies and you know it's $36 for the four of us and I'm like your fortunes thank you like it's like $36 I will for the four of us I'm like I could have just taking us all through Burger King Cohen's was two dollars and like 46 cents for like a burger and some fries and I hate to eat that way on a road trip but it's like it adds up fast if you don't eat cheap so maybe we'll eat cheap not like I can't afford it it's just like I try to be like smart about it I guess and be budget friendly so we brought our own cooler it's back there and we have um, water bottles this guy's watching me um, we have water bottles that we've had on ice all day, so we just keep refilling like our Yetis with cold water and just drink water all day long. So I'm refilling mine right now. Um, Anison Jackson, um, we all ate already, my mom and myself, and then Cohen is finishing up like his fries right now. So we're gonna head on to Sacramento, which I honestly don't even know how much longer that is. Probably at least a couple hours, and then we'll stay there for the night. Um, I still haven't booked the room yet. Uh, my mom's been driving a good portion of the day and she said that when she gets back from the restroom she'll keep driving so that I can actually book the hotel because I haven't done that yet so I'm gonna probably let her drive I'll book the hotel and then I plan on just driving all day tomorrow to kind of like make up for it so she should be out here any second I'm gonna get off of here and go switch spots so we can get our hotel booked and be done for the night but I just thought I would check in and let you guys know what we did for dinner we finally made it to Sacramento we're at the Hyatt Regency um, it's like 11 o'clock at night this place is much better than the Best Western we stayed at on the way here. It's a lot cleaner, which is the number one thing that matters. Um, the kids are relaxing. Poor Annie was sleeping. So we got here like 10, 15, and she was tired in the car. I ran in and checked in, and then it took a little while to check in. We had to park in the parking garage and then load all of our junk and take an elevator to the hotel, and then we're all the way on the eighth floor. So it has been a long day, but these kids are absolute troopers. Uh, I'm playing called ASMR Studio 3D. Cool. Um, but this place is a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than the last hotel, don't you think? Yes. Anison, do you like this place better? In the pocket. She's like a zombie. So Jackson wanted me to show you guys really quick what we got at the Vans outlet. The lighting in here is pretty terrible, so forgive that but first he wants to show you guys his shoes I'm gonna try to show them over here in the light more these are here hold this for a second bud let me show him the box these are the Av Pro I guess yeah and the color is marshmallow white he's super excited about those um, we got these shorts for Cohen these you guys when I say their sales were good their sales were so good so $14.95 and the clothes were buy one get one free and then Jackson got a pair of shorts his were also $14.95 so one of those was free um, Jackson got this long sleeve white Vans t-shirt bless you 
This is a 7-8 Vans. It's super cute, long sleeve, lightweight. I love the back of it. My mom found it for Aniston and had her try it on. And we don't know if it's girls or boys. Like, this would fit Cohen, so if he wants to wear it, I'm going to totally let him wear it because I see a lot of boys wearing pink. So, I don't know. We'll ask if he wants to. It is. I agree. Um, these are for Jackson. They might be kind of big, but they were on clearance. Can't beat the price. This is for Cohen. Right, yeah, size seven. So this is just a t-shirt for Cohen. Um, Cohen got this gray belt, and then Jackson got the black and gray checkered. Yeah, this is Jackson's shirt. He picked this out. I love shirts like this. I just didn't think he cared for them, so I've never grabbed any for him, and we don't go shopping together a lot. So he saw this, and I was like, definitely, and we thought it would look good with these gray shorts and the belt and the shoes, and he wants this to be his first day of school fit. <laughs> then this t-shirt's for Cohen. If you look at the back, I really like the back, all the colors on it. California native. How cool is that? Oh, you're wearing that the second day? Okay. And then these little socks were on sale for Aniston. They might be a little bit big, but they're the cute like no-show socks. And I thought they were cute, so I got them for her. And then Cohen picked out these shoes. So all their shoes were buy one, get one half off. And like I said, clothes were buy one, get one free. So these ended up being $15. You cannot beat that. And he was so excited. He picked these out all by himself. Yeah, and then because Aniston didn't get really any clothes there, because I don't really know if that pink shirt is girls or boys, or even if it is, it doesn't matter. It could probably be unisex, but it's not gonna fit her for a really long time. She still wears size four stuff sometimes. I've been buying her size six though, instead of five, because she's six and a half. So it's gonna be quite a while before she's in that. She tried it on and it was really big. So I let her get two pairs of shoes since they were buy one, get one half off. I wanted to get four pairs. Um, so she picked out these pink checkered ones, which she was obsessed with because her cousin Madison has the same ones. They are cute, yeah. They also have a rainbow checkered pair that I thought she would be like obsessed with, but she liked them. She tried them on and she said, nope, I want the pink. And I was like, all right, done. And then I showed her these and she was like, yes. So these were only $15. I think these were both like the same price. So one of these was half price. Oh yeah, okay. So these were the pink and white checkered we got for 15 since they were buy one, get one half off. And then these were 35, but I thought these were cute because they're like a tie dye, if you guys can tell, so. There is that. We are all in our hotel room. I'll show Instagram that in a minute, bud, so don't put it away, okay? We're in our hotel room. We're settled in. My mom's a trooper. She drove most of the way today. Um, I booked the hotel room and got all that in order, and it's so nice to be in, like, our last room we were in when we got in there on the way to Oregon was, like, burning hot. It was so hot, and then we got in, and we turned the AC on, and then it got, like, freezing cold, and it was just dirty and gross, and, like... I just felt like I couldn't even sleep and it was next to a truck stop and there was no elevator. It was just a nightmare, like literally a nightmare. It was so loud. It Well, it was loud, it was noisy, it was dirty was the main thing. Like I can't deal with dirty. Like it doesn't have to be expensive, it just has to be clean. So um, we did the hotels tonight app like someone mentioned in my last um, vlog that I posted on YouTube. So thank you for whoever mentioned that app. I downloaded it. What? Hashtag non-spawn. Yes not sponsored but i love it and i'm going to be using it hopefully for our trip to san diego if we go so i'm going to get off of here and get these kids in their pajamas and then i told jackson we could show instagram really quick what he got at the vans outlet yeah and you guys should stay at a hyatt hotel too They're really nice <laughs> right, once again not sponsored stay tuned for day two of the road trip and download asmr okay and that's not sponsored either he just really likes that game huh Love you guys. Love you guys. All right, we FaceTimed Chris, but I said once they settled back down a little bit, we'd FaceTime again. So we're gonna get off here and do that, and we'll be back for our day two road trip vlog. We're gonna meet Gina for breakfast in the morning, so I have to start looking at breakfast, breakfast places really quick and text her back. So hope you guys have a great evening, and we will be back tomorrow with our day two road trip vlog Bye. on our way back home to Arizona. Bye. Bye.